Pray that I would speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to begin by introducing our motto for 2021. And I'm going to begin by saying that it's exactly the same Bible verse that we felt God led us to this time last year. Taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as, in fact, you are doing. Our motto for last year, our verse for last year. I expected 2020 to involve social events and get-togethers. But as we all know, 2020 panned out in ways that we could have never expected, dare I use the buzzword, unprecedented. Our life together as a church family this year has not been how we expected it to be. But it truly has been a year of encouraging and building one another up. As a church family, we've not got it right all of the time but we have encouraged and built one another up through the lockdown and all of the restrictions we've been dealing with. We've done this through phone calls, through shopping for each other, collecting prescriptions, walking alongside each other through the ups and downs of life. We need to continue in this God is drawing us together, even when we aren't able to be together in person. And as we draw together, God will bless us with an outpouring of his Holy Spirit. This year, our motto biblical verse has not changed, but the emphasis has. The words above and beyond have been added. God calls us to reach above and beyond our church walls, to not stop building and encouraging one another. We need to do that, it's very important. But as we're built up and encouraged, he calls us to go above and beyond as Jesus did, to encourage and build up those with whom we share our day-to-day -day lives, those in the wider community, those we encounter day by day. Today we go back to our sermon series based on encounters, people Jesus met. We will continue to be open and expectant that we will personally encounter Jesus do the scriptures in new and deeper ways. But in line with our motto this year, I want to also encourage and challenge you to listen for Jesus' call for you to go above and beyond. As we focus on Jesus' encounters, let us think about how Jesus wants others to encounter him through us and through our lives. That's our call. We are Jesus' body in the world. This series begins with one-to-one -one encounters with Jesus, but moves on to people meeting Jesus through his followers. This morning, we are bystanders of Jesus' encounter with a woman who touched his cloak, a desperate woman who reached out to touch Jesus. This woman had been bleeding for 12 years. She knew suffering. She'd spent all that she had to try and get well again. She had sought help from many doctors but everything had just got worse. Because of her condition, she would have been an outcast. 
She would have been considered ritually unclean. She would have been lonely and isolated. She was by this stage also penniless. But even in the darkness of her situation, she had not given up. She had a sliver of hope. She had heard about Jesus and his faith. She knew that if she could just reach out and touch him, touch his clothing, that it would be enough for her to be healed. She doesn't feel that she's somebody who's worthy to speak to Jesus. She doesn't feel that someone like her is worthy to approach him, to ask for help. But she knows in her heart that he can end her suffering. So she pushes her way through the crowd and follows him. And just at the right moment, when she's close enough, she reaches out and touches his cloak and is instantly healed. Jesus immediately senses what has happened. He stops and asks in front of the whole crowd, who touched me? The disciples are baffled. Everyone is pressing in on everyone. How can Jesus ask who touched me? But Jesus knows. He knows that someone has touched him in faith and he wants to know who it was. Jesus was on his way to do something important. He was on his way to bring back to life the daughter of a synagogue leader. Yet still, Jesus took time and stopped. Stopped on his way to help a synagogue leader, a man of importance and good standing, to encounter an unclean, penniless outcast. Can you imagine how that woman must have felt, having been rejected for 12 years, to finally feel whole again, and then to be publicly called out by Jesus. I think she must have had to have really dug deep within her being to muster the real courage that she would have needed to have stepped forward as she did. It would have taken immense courage to admit her story and what she had done in front of everyone. Jesus knew what he was doing. By calling her out, she was, she was publicly declared clean. She received more, way more than physical healing. Jesus, through publicly acknowledging her, restored her place in the wider community. Jesus called her daughter. She was accepted. She was called daughter by God's own son. Instead of telling her to keep it to herself, which at times we read of Jesus doing, Jesus let everyone know that she has been restored in body, mind and spirit. What does this encounter mean for us at the beginning of this new year? What does this encounter mean for us as we represent Jesus in and around Warminster? No matter how desperate our situation, no matter how difficult life is for us, for our loved ones, for our neighbours, for people in our town, none of us are ever, ever out of Jesus' reach. 
If in faith we reach out to him, he is there for us. He is interested in us. He wants us to know him. He wants to respond to our faith with love. He is not in a hurry. He has time for us. And he gives us his full attention. Nothing is more important to Jesus than the point when he encounters us. He wants to hear our whole story. He wants to restore us. He wants to restore all who reach out to him. He wants us and others to become sons and daughters. Whatever our story, wherever we are, wherever we're at in our lives, let us reach out and touch Jesus today in faith. Let's allow him to bring healing to us and to restore us. There are many people all around us who may not have encountered Jesus personally yet, but who have faith. May we this year reflect and be Jesus in the wider community. May we help others who are reaching out. May we be like Jesus, give our time, give our full attention, listen fully to people's stories and to respond as Jesus responds in love, that they may encounter Jesus personally through us. And the wonderful thing is as we do that, we ourselves encounter Jesus in deeper ways than we could ever imagine. Amen.